Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to day one of my five day sketchbook challenge. I know last year we did a seven day sketchbook challenge. That was a little too much for me to film and edit five days. That's pretty doable and I hope it's doable for you guys too. You can spend 10 minutes on it. You can spend an hour on it. It just depends on how much time you want to put into it. Obviously, I'm not there to like judge your art and criticize you for anything so like go crazy if you want or you can put as little amount of effort as possible the goal is to make five drawings or pages or spreads or whatever you want to do let's get into it to start off our first challenge, I want you to grab a pen. I'm using this set of Stabilo pens that I have for my art class, but any ordinary pen works. And again, for all these challenges, the guidelines are very, very loose. Now, I want you to put your hand on the paper and count exactly 100 dots around it. I know it sounds dumb, but you don't have to outline it like I'm doing. You can put the dots anywhere on the page as long as they are around your hand. Pause this video until you've got to 100 dots. All right, after that, now that we've got 100 dots, I want you to keep your hand exactly where it is and do the same thing, but with 100 lines. Again, they don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be straight, and you can put them anywhere you want. Feel free to pause again until you get to 100 lines. After we have 100 dots and 100 lines around our hand, I promise this is the last set of things I want you to draw 100 circles. These don't have to be perfect circles, they can be ovals, they can be loop-de-loops, whatever you want, as long as they are circular forms and they are surrounding your hand, you're doing it right. And this exercise was actually, I'm not gonna lie, it was from one of my art classes this semester. You can call it copying if you want, but I'm really trying not to take credit for it. The reason I found this exercise so intriguing was because my professor explained it that essentially it trains your nervous system to draw, and we've actually been working on the same drawing on this giant sheet of paper since the beginning of the semester, and I believe we'll keep the same sheet of paper until the end. So for the past three weeks or so, we've been drawing dots and lines and circles, and we've been having to count each individual one. Um, for three hours twice a week, no less. And if I have to suffer this long, then y'all can do it for a few minutes. But I'm really trying not to make this seem like a bad thing because it's not, it's really interesting to me and that's why I thought of including it as the first part of this five day challenge. I thought it could be a nice warm up. And look, I've taken my hand off and you can kind of see the negative space that it's left. And from this point, I want us to make it a little more interesting. Now, if you're really pressed on time, if you are, busy, if you have things to do and you just can't afford to keep working on this, then, you know, leave it at that. But if you do have the spare time, if you do want to keep working on this, if you have the drive, um, go crazy. Like, you don't even have to count. Honestly, like, just keep putting dots and lines and circles around your hand until you get somewhere that you want to be. And you don't have to use the same pen. You'll see later in this video that I'll branch out with my materials. I'll take my hand off eventually and start adding different textures and colors and all that jazz. By all means, think outside the box. The fact that this simple of an exercise was used in a college level class speaks volumes. Since the exercise is so simple, it kind of encourages you to find ways to make the piece more interesting. Drawing dots can be turned into stippling, and by stippling you can create depth and shadows. And lines and circles can be treated the same way, you can turn them into patterns and positive and negative space. Also, my apologies for the weird angle, I'm working on the floor obviously, sometimes the desk has just too many things on it. Anyway. As you can see, you can feel free to move your hand so you have a kind of overlapping effect. Literally, you can do anything you want. Like, there are no boundaries, I think, as long as you just use your hand at some point um, to create a negative space in the piece, that's pretty much the objective. And also just like, you know, lines, dots, and circles. All three of them, the holy trinity. Um, I'm opening some Karen Dush. Karen Dosh? Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Karen Dosh crayons. Um, the most southern thing I could possibly blurt out. Karen Dosh. But, as you can see, I am just adding things here and there. I'm not even using my hand anymore. I'm just going a little crazy, a little insane if you will. And these are water soluble, so they will definitely add something because 
you know, the background's very blank right now and adding some color and just um, spreading it around with the water is definitely going to help a little bit. And also hopefully the water spreads the ink, I believe. Yes, it does, one would assume. So that's another element to consider. I don't know what I was doing there. I just had my hand at a weird angle and went with it. So, you know, just like, don't overthink it, you know, do whatever, like experiment, go crazy or don't go crazy. Maybe you want to be minimalistic. I don't know. It's literally up to you. Like, I don't know if that makes it easier or harder that I'm giving you so many options, but um, yeah, now I'm using water to blend out the crayons a little bit and make some texture there. Obviously nothing needs to be super blended out. You can like, you know, blend out some parts, keep some parts a little crusty literally the world is your oyster but yeah this spread wasn't too fulfilling for me but honestly i'm just glad i got to make some art because being in college and constantly doing things i barely have time to make art for myself so it was nice to just pop this one out and yeah it was a good exercise for me and hopefully for you and that's it that's done thanks for watching y'all i hope you guys stick around for the next four days of this challenge and if you like the video you know like subscribe comment tell me your deepest darkest secrets and i love you i'll see you tomorrow bye